Ciao, it's Ian, and here we are, gonna talk about wine again. Today we're gonna talk about one of my favorite wines. We're gonna talk about Barolo. Barolo, maybe Italy's most famous wine. Barolo is the name of a town. It's the most famous town in a denomination of Piedmont, the region. But there are 11 towns that are allowed to make Barolo. In fact, Barolo it's really became famous as a word and the wine only maybe at the end of the 18th centuries before what really counted was the grape, Nebbiolo. Barolo is in fact a 100% Nebbiolo wine. Nebbiolo is one of the world's great, great, great varieties. Think of Pinot Noir, think of Cabernet Sauvignon, think of Riesling. Nebbiolo is a fantastic translator of terroir, very important. You can plant Nebbiolo literally 10 meters apart, but if the altitude is different, if the exposure is different, if the soil is different, the wines are going to be very different. Nebbiolo, the name probably comes from the Latin word nubiola. It's a very old grape. It was already described by the ancient Romans. Nubiola comes from the word nebbia or fog because Nebbiolo is a very late ripening grape. You pick it really at the end of October. Now with climate change, that's changing a little. But when you pick Nebbiolo grapes, there's also a lot of fog in these Barolo vineyards. And fog in Italian is nebbia. So the, the grapes are, are, are bathed in fog. Also, another possibility is that the grape has a lot of bloom, that little powdery, hair-like substance which covers grapes to protect the skin. Nebbiolo has a lot of bloom and that gives sort of a whitish look to the grapes and therefore as if the grapes are bathed in fog. Barolo denomination involves 11 different towns. The most famous are La Morra, uh, Barolo itself, Novello, Verduno, Monforte d'Alba, Serralunga d'Alba, and Castiglione Falletto. These names might be hard to pronounce for a lot of people, but you know, they're very important because each one of these towns is associated with a specific type of Barolo wine. It is really no different than Margot and Pauillac or Chambol, Musigny and Pomard. And it's exactly the same thing with Barolo. The Barolos of La Morra are very different from the Barolos of Serralunga. Now clearly they're similar because they are Barolos and they're made with Nebbiolo, but they are different. The main reason is the soil type. The soil type of cities, of, of towns like La Morra, Barolo, Verduno, and Novello, soils that are mainly marley clay with a lot of magnesium and manganese, and these give earlier maturing Barolos that are readier to drink sooner. Earlier to drink with Barolo is a relative term. Most Barolos, like I said, will live 50, 60 years without a problem, but these are wines that can be drunk five to eight years after the vintage. Instead, the, the, the uh, wines from the cities of Serralunga, Castiglione Falletto, and Monforte, these are sitting on soils that are compacted sands and limestone, and these are very slow maturing Barolos that are best drunk 15 years after the vintage, although of course they can be enjoyed sooner. A great Barolo will always remind you of sour red cherries and roses. It is one of the red wines that most smells of red roses. Also sweet spices and a little bit of violet and a little bit of tar. Great, great wines, high acidity, lots of tannin, lots of fruit. It's really unforgettable when you find a really good Barolo. Some of the world's biggest, most elegant, most refined wines, and each one of them speaks of a specific terroir, and therein lies the greatness of Barolo, one of the world's great terroir wines.